Hi, I'm Alexandru. I will look uh, today to plan my mercenary build in uh, Path of Exile 2. Now that uh, skill tree is uh, better and better by day. I'm trying to see what kind of skills would I pick when the, the game launches Friday. Um, yeah, I was postulating it between monk and uh, mercenary, but uh, I think for start as I like it more with shooting and uh, being a range, I will start with a uh, mercenary. So you see now they put pictures with the classes, so I know this buff is for mercenary. So let's see. <clears throat> Projectile damage, armor renovation. Yes, I think I'll go with projectile from the very beginning. Probably these ones are also projectile damage. Small notes. Then we have not the bows in 15% projectile damage, 30%. Increase stun, build up against enemy within two meters. Yes, and then uh, twenty percent increase armor and evasion rating, twenty percent stun threshold. But harder hit against. You have 20% that critical damage bonus. I think I'll go directly below. Damage for projectile. 20% increase projectile damage. Projectile have 20% chance to chain an additional time from terrain. That one is really nice. Area of effect and cooldown recovery rate. Yes. <clears throat> These are also probably very good for beginning. Increase chance to inflict ailments. Break 30% increase armor of enemy affected by ailments. I don't really know how this is supposed to work in the new game. I guess it's uh, very important to break the armor for enemies. But uh, I will just take the most obvious one and then I will go to the one that they are not so obvious, but probably uh, very important as well. So let's go through this one 5% attributes, attributes. And what do you have here? Dual welding. I don't know if uh, the crossbow is uh, also dual welding or not. I think it is. So these nodes. Make sense. Oh, 
so strike late fire. Two hand web. So, how much? 13. So, this is up to the level 13 already. Knock back distance. 20% to knock enemy back if it's in close range. Yes, I think I will take the knock back. Movement speed. Coated arms. Twenty five percent increased damage with one handed weapon. Increased chance to apply ailments with one handed weapon. Cluster bombs. This, these are probably very important to have. These nodes here for the grenades. Grenade skill have plus one called cooldown use. So for sure this one. Increase attack damage. Gain accuracy equal to your strength. I don't know. Four percent increase move speed if you kill recently. Eight percent increase attack speed if you kill recently. Yes, I would go through this one to be faster. Life leech, critical strike initiative, so reduction, I would go to these ones for grenades, I think we will use grenades a lot. So this is already 34, level 34. Block, I don't think we will use block. Destructing presence. Minions. I would go through this ones. So now we are going again to some arrow. Projectile damage, projectile damage, 25 increased chance to inflict ailments with projectiles, yes. Probably projectile damage, 30% chance to pierce an enemy, projectile has 30% chance to chain an additional time from the rain, so we already have 20, and now we'll have another 30, 50 percent. That's uh, quite a lot. 
chance to chain additional time from terrain and uh, bleeds. I don't think we'll go with bleeds. Life leech is instant, cannot use life masks. I, yeah, I saw some nodes with uh, life leech. Maybe it's a way to scale some recovery to build around leech and over leech. Hmm. So, We'll go through these ones. I see it's uh, pretty clear. This is for crossbow grenades. 50% chance to activate a second time. And then uh, we have 10% uh, reduce attack speed with crossbow, 80% increase. Critical damage bonus with crossbow. So we can build around critical strike build 25 chance for crossbow attack to not consume a bolt. Yes, and 25 increase then percent increase damage with crossbow for each type of ammunition fire in the past 10 seconds this is quite crazy And then uh, what else do we have in this part? Swords. So like this, we are around one hundred, like level sixty already, fifty nine, sixty. What uh, case stones we have in range? Cannot use charms. 30% more recovery from flask. No. Hit that deal fire damage. Remove fire exposure and hit him and inflict lightning exposure. Okay, so this is. Like uh, we had before, elemental equilibrium. I don't think that's good for the mercenary build, but the uh, keystones we have around dodge row cannot avoid damage. Take uh, thirty percent less damage from hits. Oh, or stun trash for the double cannot dodge roll. No, it's our warrior class. But. Uh, this one is interesting because it's so close to mercenary. Maybe it is a way to build the overreach character. So, let's see, leech. Leech, 20% instant. 
so we have quite near a lot of nodes for leeching so maybe that's the idea a way to scale up defense so we have we can go here increase amount of leech 20 percent amount of life leech 40 percent increase armor and evasion while leeching so i would take these ones 20 percent of leech is instant this is quite crazy so which path should i take maybe from this side like this so we have 20 percent amount of life leech leech life 25 percent faster yes and then life leech is instant cannot use life lifeless but if this is becoming instant maybe we don't need any more increase amount of life leech okay so maybe i don't i don't need this because uh, this will become instant life leech so i don't need even uh, in each life 25 percent faster or maybe you can actually leech a lot more than normal 25 percent increase amount of life leech maybe it's it's good actually so you leech more than uh, normal so now it's around 75 and i heard it's 122 maximum skill points 75 yeah this is around mapping So what did we took? We took this cluster here, critical strike. I should put more critical strike. Critical strike. Where are this one is fifty percent increase critical damage bonus with crossbow. I should scale up some critical strikes. So where is the node here? This one. Increase. No. Where are the rest of the nodes? Critical. Critical. I don't see. <laughs> Something. Defend. Reduce critical damage. Attack, gain increase accuracy rating equal to their critical hit chance. Hmm. 
So if you scale a lot of critical, then you fix also your uh, accuracy. That's crazy. That's really nice to have, I think, to scale in this one. So you actually don't need to scale accuracy. You would scale a lot of critical plus this one. Projectile have 40% critical damage bonus against enemies within 2 meter. Projectile deal 25% increased damage with hits against enemy. This is also maybe on the enchantment on the amulet. So one is for so far and one is for close. This one I would use, the close one. I think everyone will jump on us. So a lot of enemy will be very close. So yeah. What critical nodes do we have around? Ah, these ones are quite far away. Cries, war cries, these are all warrior. Critical chance with flails, no. War cries, these are way too far away. Oh. Yeah, maybe the rest will come from the gear. 79, so I still have a lot of points to go in different directions. So I put this one, critical chance. Let's see life. If there's any life around. So this one's life recovery. Male damage, we don't care. Oh, this one. This is the overleach. Yes. So, for sure, we need to go into this part to get the overleach. Overleach. Amount of life leech, yes. So this ones I would after which life we have around regenerate. Yeah, but we don't use flasks. We will only leech. Regenerate 1% of life per second. No. So it's not so much life around that we can this one we already took okay what else should we look for so we put life leech the obvious ones with birds with Elements, maybe elements. Hmm. Because uh, it was one with fire. Where is fire? Uh, 
one uh, node. This one avatar of fire. Where is this on the tree? Oh, we yeah, are too far away. No way we can get this. I would like to play everything to set on fire. Elements. Let's see what we have around. Plus, plus four element threshold. This gain element threshold equal to your lowest of evasion and armor on your boots, and this one is for helmet. How this supposed to work? I don't know. Gain stun threshold equal. Okay, so you don't get the uh, stun. Okay, doesn't matter. One hand, but I think crossbow is two hands, so we the we don't care about that one. Probably this one because we will put a lot of um, dexterity in the build for the gear, probably in the skills. So natural immunity. So we don't get uh, so many uh, ailments on us. But how do we inflict? Oh no, so we cannot. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, cold. No, nothing. Okay. <clears throat> Where should, what should we look around? So we put a lot of damage. We put the uh, over leech with leech life. Uh, what should we look? How we make it tanky? Two handed, two handed. So crossbow. Crossbow is supposed to be two handed. So we have a But we said we will take this one. So we need we need critical strike. Let's see where is critical critical. Not so much critical strike on the critical damage on the tree. At least on this part, it's, it's like missing. Here is some. Double damage, war cries, critical damage, critical, critical for spells. So okay, so critical, not so much. So this one is really nice, increase 
elemental damage with attacks. This one is also good. Maybe we should go in this way all the way here. Oops. Take this one. Probably these ones are also damage for uh, projectiles. Evasion, what is here? Evasion. A lot of unknown uh, in the tree. But for sure here is the range ranger, so all, probably a lot of good notes on this side next to it. So now we are 97, we still have choose few more until 122. So flasks, evasion, evasion, prevent three percent of deflected chance to deflect projectile heavy ammunition stun build up what else is here 50 percent chance to pierce an enemy Also, so actually here the starting point from Ranger is the really good also for us. Increase elemental damage, chance to blind. Wow, a lot of good things here. Critical damage. So, if this with the overleach is not going to work, I would take the points from the leech and then go to the ranger side because here are uh, a lot of good things for us yeah. increase pro projectile seed seed maybe speed And build up movement speed, dexterity, projectile damage, stone build up. Hard stop. Okay, so I don't know, but uh, the ranger side looks pretty awesome. Ninety seven. Evasion, Flasks. Poison, deflect, so 
even if you let's say we go to this ones which one is the quickest maybe maybe like this here we go in this side and uh, we take a stun build up take a 20% chance to deflect. Go in this side. Here's chance. Area with effect. We don't. Speed. Projectile speed. Attack speed. So it's a. Uh, If, if this will not work with the over leech and leech damage, I would go in this side with danger side. Take this nose here. <clears throat> Take also life recovery from flask maybe. Here are also a lot of evasion, evasion. Yes. So it's, uh, I'm sure it's a good path to go also in the ranger side, not that's why they are so close together. They can borrow points from each other. So now I have 112, still like 10 more points to go. Mm. Marks, critical damage bonus, yes. Chance to blind, yes. So now it's like 120. Yes, so going this way down so if i take this out through re projectile damage projectile damage and a chain area of effect going down to knockback take this cluster bombs grenade damage as this is a very good uh, I mean elements we scale up some dexterity then uh, going down movement speed cool, cooldown reduction grenade Duration reduction going down to inflict ailments with projectiles, chance to pierce and chain, and then going down to But maybe from here it's a good idea to go directly to Valpact for uh, for maybe a bit late. We'll see how it goes with the gear. So going to the damage and uh, pierce and chain, going 
down for gren grenades damage all of this increase damage with crossbow not consuming a bolt critical bonus critical damage bonus and then from here we go this side gain increase accuracy equal to the critical damage going this side over leech increase damage then uh, going to the wall pact and uh, and then we just i don't know imp improvising a bit we can go this way elemental damage with attacks projectile in have 40 percent critical damage bonus for close range i think we'll, all, all our enemies will be close range anyway and uh, we can go through this deflect i don't know what is deflect but probably is helping us stun build up for enemies pierce or pierce them chance and then uh, speed for projectiles and attack speed some uh, critical damage bonus and 10 percent to blind and uh yeah this is more or less what i would do i am very curious if it can be a build to play with life leech as a mercenary or no it's more for one uh, for uh, warriors and for the skills what we can put explosive grenade launcher if we put cross crossbow glacier bolt high velocity rounds knock back enemies 100 percent more freeze build up knock back enemies consume fully broken armor on enemies to deal 150 more damage oh high velocity rounds explosive shots convert 30 percent of physical damage to fire knock back enemies okay armor piercing rounds attack speed 100 uh, 425 percent of pace attack damage 28 percent hit break seven armor knock back enemies can fire 14 bolts before reloading i wonder how this reloading should supposed to work it's another skill you just press to reload or it's automatic or how long it will take to reload this will be interesting too incendiary shots stone blast convert 80 percent of physical damage to fire damage that's nice 
So fire is the only one who is converting physical damage to fire. And I think here was another good note. 5% of physical damage from hits taken as damage of a random element. <clears throat> but do we have nodes with elemental damage? Increase area of effect. Accuracy. Okay. Now this this one is uh, really nice also. So we have here thirty percent chance to ignite. 30% increase, increase build up, 30% chance to shock, 20% increase electrocut build up, attack damage penetrate 50% of enemy elemental resistance, 40% increase elemental damage with attack skill during any flask. And this is one hand. We don't play with one hand. But but this ones this ones might be also important to take this to. Then uh heat that deal fire damage. Ah okay, elemental equilibrium. No, we don't do that. What elemental we have here? One hand. Melee damage. No, don't. Increase elemental damage. Maybe. It's quite far. We have uh, melee damage. Okay, these are earlier so what else is here so these nodes are really important i think i would then uh, maybe critical bonus I just drop this chance to blind remove this remove this and then <coughs> in the way here we should take this chance to freeze or ignite Okay, take this ones and penetrate elemental resistance. Yes. So we scale a lot of uh, elemental damage, critical damage, we get uh, accuracy, leech, and what else we should put for our defense? What we have here? We have a evasion. Evasion. What evasion nodes we have around? Convert all evasion rating to armor. No. 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 Okay. 50% defense for shield. Now we don't use shield. These are the evasion nodes here. 25, 25. That's quite a lot of evasion. Cobatics. 
No is too far. Okay, monk have a lot of evasion. Yes, of course. We have probably he will use this and the ranger because they can stack a lot of evasion. So evasion is we have this one increase. 40% evasion. This one maybe we should get also from the beginning. Evasion and stun threshold. Okay, so we can also stack a lot of evasion. So this these nodes, we already took this one. This one no. No, and this too. So if we let this, uh, what we can drop from here, deflect. I don't know what is this deflect. Stun build up. We don't need this. We have pierce. Maybe even this one we can drop this all. I think we'll have enough pierce anyway. Stun and block recovery. Maybe we should go through this ones. We get here, here, which is the quickest way. This. This okay, this 116. So we can get 50% more evasion here, plus this ones 20, 20 more evasion. So evasion. Damage. What else should we put? Life is nowhere. It's, uh, uh, we cannot see the question answers. I would play a witch hunter. Probably or straightforward, and the explosion from the tree. It's uh, really nice. So you can get cooling strike, and you get also a chance between five to thirty percent to the first shot to to between 5 to 30 percent of the life so that's quite a lot so if you get very lucky 30 percent plus another 10 from cooling strike is 40 and then they explode if uh, 100 percent of their life and you can hopefully make like a chain reaction on the small back Cooling strike, cool. Increase cooling strike threshold. Where is this? Oh, I see. This is really interesting, also, as a witch hunter, because you get cooling strike from the ascendancy and this one probably make it better 25 percent it's uh, instead of 10 you will have like 
12.5 percent something like this i don't know how this is calculated and then giant slayer 25 percent increased damage refits again air and uniques 20 percent increase accuracy rating against red and uniques 20 percent increased chance to inflict ailments against rare and uniques yes. this might be also really good for the extra damage especially now the uniques are like very hard to kill it takes a long time to kill them so maybe this get makes sense together with cooling strike and the witch hunter also have cooling cooling strike in the ascendancy you get a lucky hit remove five percent from the boss and then uh, cooling strike will be like 12.5 percent with this node so you <clears throat> more or less taking almost 20 percent if you are lucky that's really big big damage this one i said i will take yes so how much because 116 i still have points to maybe take this ones take like this no, no like this 20 22 ah, exactly 122 so like this it's complete it's like you are level 100 if i understand well so how many skill points we will have but you can get i think even more if you don't use if you don't swap weapon so you might get extra 20 points if you don't use this swap weapons so you can put even more points actually if this is correct or not because there are some good points here in the the ranger beginning points even this ones with back in action increase stun and block recovery to make yourself immune to stun this is huge i would take this if i if i find it hard to if i find problems with uh, stun maybe this is also very good to put points in it it's also very close to beginning so it's right between uh, ranger and us so probably it's good for both <laughs> that's why they put it but it's more in our side than ranger side so we can have stun immunity leech with over leech lot of uh, evasion what else we have we have uh, we scale critical strike and we get accuracy so we don't need to scale accuracy cooling strike <clears throat> we for uh, witch hunter as see we get bonus cooling strike 
What else should we look into? I don't know how to really scale the defense. What would we put here? What we should look for? We we will take Valpact and Overleach. So we will froze and ignite enemies. We do a, a more damage and knockbacks. We have uh, taken uh, this one with uh, close against enemy within two meters. So we do more damage. This one for both 25 more damage. So if we get close with the boss, we get 25 plus 25, it's 50% only for these two nodes. Life recovery, evasion. So, yes. Get <clears throat> more. I, I don't know if uh, because leech is instant. If if these ones will work together, amount of life leech. So we get twenty five percent more uh, life leech. Or so instead of let's say one hundred, you get uh, one hundred. 25 life with this node. This is how it's supposed to work. I'm not sure. Increase physical damage. But if you use in incendiary shot, then you convert 80% of physical damage to fire. What skills do we have here? So I would play with uh, incendiary shots. Yes. Then uh, crossbow. Crossbow. What else do we have? High velocity, armor piercing. I think this one will be also important. But what skills are we far more piercing? Uh, so we have one here. Pierce an enemy. What is this? Close, confine. Okay, so we have one here also. Or so we have thirty and uh, Okay, so we have chain here. We have only here we have Pierce and here. 30 and 25. And I'm very sure we need to take this piercing. So because we have already chain here, 
30. Very close chain. Thirty, and we have here twenty, so fifty percent chance to chain. We have this one twenty, and this one thirty. So we took both and peers. Peers is here and here. Okay, so. We should get these ones. We think fifty five percent is huge. That's why it's between three meters because it's supposed to be close and personal with these uh, enemies. So what what should we? What should we drop? And it was this one also. But maybe this one we can put on um, on the amulet. Screenshot. We should put maybe on the amulet as an enchant. So what we could let here. Cooling strike. So how many there are? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, four. It's a lot. And probably this one is also something good. This one here, this whole uh, group. So maybe we drop this ones. No. This one we should maybe drop. We let only over leech. This one. I really curious if this with the leech will actually do something for us or not. Back in action. Area of effect. Maybe we take this out. Evasion, we said we need so nineteen. How it looks nineteen. 20. Twenty three. Okay, so somewhere we need to maybe drop another point. So we need this and this one, the amulet. So we need pierce and we need chain. And if we put, I think it is a support gem for um, return projectiles. Re return. No. Okay. How it is supposed to be? Projectiles. Multiple, fast, slow, volley, work, pierce. Okay, so we have another support gem for pierce. Well, shards. Iron grip chain. Okay, we have another chain here. But where is the return? Okay, it's no return. But I think in the presentation they show us 
you can actually make the projectiles return. Okay. How do they do that? So we have chain. That's strange. I remember this. They show the projectile can actually return and hit a second time. Yeah. I don't know how that skill is supposed to be. Return. Ah, maybe I. No, it's no return. No, it's supposed to be this. So check projectile. Clear spark volley. Slow, fast, and multiple. I don't know how this is supposed to work to return the project projectiles. So it's no on the skill tree, it's no on the support gems. Maybe it's like a item. I don't know. If someone knows, let me know. So what skills do we have here? Crossbow, crossbow, flash here, high velocity, armor pierce, incendiary. Storm blast over sixty percent of the physical to lightning. Okay. Consume freeze. Okay, so you can freeze the enemies and then you shoot them with fragmentation rounds and you you do a shitload of damage. Fragmentation rounds, permafrost, convert 80% of the damage to cold, 300 times more freeze buildup. Ice shards, 60% rapid shot to fire. Grenade, consume all heat and to deal to, to, to added fire damage per hit. Well, so if I play with incendiary shots, this one need also to be here. So you Attack speed knockbacks. Okay, so rapid fire is actually a, a better incendiary shot. Okay, so we don't need that. Maybe for leveling. Probably this one is later. Rapid shot. Let's see what else do we have here. We have crossbow. Something to consume the fire exists, maybe. <laughs> explosive grenade, rapid shot, explosive grenades convert 20% physical damage to fire. 
explosive yes so i want everything with fire <laughs> i want to set everything on fire to purge all the enemies play like warhammer <laughs> so what else do we have cross cross pull Faster, shun, rapid, short, explosive. This one probably it's also good. Flash grenade to stun, stun them. So I would maybe put this also here. Cross, crossbow. Let's see what else. Flash grenades, cluster grenades, explosion. No, flash grenades, explosive. Yes, rapid shot. Yes, ice shards, thermofrost. Okay, and for the support, so rapid shot. Probably this would be the main skill. So fire, what fire did they have? Frost fire. Okay. Consume, freeze, home. Cannot inflict freeze. Consume freeze from enemy they ignite. Storm fire. Don't know what wildfire ignite you inflict spread around yes yes this one we need we need to set them on fire what else do we need fire uh, fire penetration 20 percent plus 15 from the tree that will be massive fire what else do we have? Eternal flame, fiercy death. Killing blows will support skill against ignited. Enemy have 60% chance to cause your enemy to explode. Oh. This might work so well with the witch hunter when they explode enemies or we actually don't need this because they will explode anyway. Yeah, so we don't need this because they will explode from the ascendancy. Ignition proliferation. Ignite goes by support skill spread to we already took mission 50% more chance to ignite. Ah, this is uh, we need to check if it's a problem with ignition or not, but I think it will not be an issue with igniting them. Elemental discharge. For skill cannot inflict freeze shock or ignite support skill consume freeze shock ignite it to trigger elemental discharge elemental discharge What's this I don't know elemental invocation 12% increase energy generated gain 125 energy when you ignite an enemy. Okay. Elemental invocation. So get spells consume. Spells. This is a spell? No, it's an attack. Fire away support. That is for spells. Um, 
fire. Oh, we need to choose the fire, but not for spells. Mana flare, minion, eternal flame, spell, proliferation, ignition, searing flame, elemental discharge. Trigger, elemental invocation, volley. Uh, support skill, fire to additional projectiles, support skill, pulse of fire, projectile from up to four points on each other's side view, support skill, deal 25 less projectile damage, move only, and then is a uh, multiple projectile so you lose damage and here you lose projectile damage and attack and cast speed i think volley is better volley okay and projectile projectile what we can put fast projectile slow fork projectile from support skill fork projectile from support skill deal 50 percent less damage when forking first L shots iron green chain I would maybe use fork so they spread and you have the chance to ignite even more and then they hopefully return somehow to you and six link but I did project so or What else should we put? Maybe some fire damage. Fire. Fire mastery exposure should we put. Add fire damage. So something like this. Rapid fire with wildfire, fire penetration. Volley, work, and added fire damage. Yeah. That will be crazy. And then uh, explosive grenades. Flash armor piercing rounds, incendiary shots. Alloy. So, okay, this is like a shotgun probably because it's AOE, and this one is uh, more or less like a rifle shooting straight. Mm, yeah. But I saw that we can use also ballista totem ballista. No, not here. Totem. Shock totem. Ancestral warrior. Dark APG. Where is the ballista totem? Okay, so maybe some skills are 
still missing from this one. New builds, copy share link. Hmm. That's a uh, strange. So I don't know how to return the projectiles and uh, there is the ballista totem because for bosses for sure i will put down a ballista or two to help out the damage it will be like i saw a lot of mechanics so you need to dodge abilities and move away from different places so incendiary shot is more like a shotgun armor piercing this is for the heavy armor enemies this is for um, groups and maybe rares and bosses, explosive grenades, and this is for clearing to stun the so how should I put this? I put incendiary, uh, and incendiary is always ignite, convert. Physical damage, knockbacks, fire 10 balls per burst. So we need projectile, projectile. Maybe multiple projectile. And uh, projectile. Or maybe volley. I should put here volley and remove this one. Um, what else can I put? Because we can only use it once. Area of effect. Uh, yes. AOE. Let's see what what we have for AOE. Area of effect. Effect. Armor explosion, melee, no, bursting play, no, concentration effect, 30% more area damage, area of effect, concentrated effect, yes, because it's like a shotgun, so concentrated effect, volley, I use volley somewhere. Uh, what else? Aoi. Aoi. X. Ignition proliferation. I use it. Echo. But this is for spell. Wind wave. Trigger. support any skill you can use triggering a blast wind wind wave i don't know what it is are we lightning no pending to no stamping ground no the knowledge while Wildfire support. Did I use this? Night you inflict. Yes. So, but this always ignites, so I don't need extra ignite chance. Ancestral, no. Blasphemy, no. 
the Roshos roar, the war cries. Now, end of Chayula. This is something for monks. Okay. Uh, what else can we put with this incendiary shots? Concentrated and volley. Wildfire. Fire penetration. We put fork. So maybe we should use fork here with incendiary shot so you pierce through them more. So maybe I put here fork. This was really hard to decide how you assign the support gems. It's like a puzzle. How what you should put where to get the best results because basically you need to have at least five six skills you want to use and then you need to juggle around with so many support gems what to put where because the really good ones, you would want to use it everywhere. But you cannot, you need to choose only once. This is really, really hard. And I think this will be a lot of complaints on uh, forums. Because people will want, especially the classic support gems, to use it in many places, not only once hmm. yeah probably it will be a lot of drama but what we can put to our shotgun concentrated volley work what else can we put here hmm. projectile area See, area, area of effect. Corrupt guys, repel cars. Rise. This is melee. Melee, spell echo. No, created ground. Created ground create a soup. By support, I still have 20% more area of effect. Jaded ground lasts 3 seconds. Support is to create jaded ground when they deal damage to an area. Enemies on jaded ground. Create by support skill have 30% less movement speed. But I don't know if this can work with uh, incendiary shot area of effect if area, area of effect of will uh, work with projectiles but uh, probably it's, it's with uh, spells not with projectiles and ferocious roar that is with warriors I really don't know what to put here how is power E area of effect so this is a area of effect so incendiary shot Okay, so we can support it with area of effect area. So we can put that uh, jaded grounds. 
or not. You see, it's another color. Support Slavsky, okay, so we cannot put that. But what support, oh, we, we have area of, of effect. Then yes, we put area of effect. Concentration. Now we remove this concentration and we put something else. So we want to have as much area of effect. Night, shock, the lack of wind. Bernard, wildfire. Night, blasphemy, and of Jaira. Which one? Bursting plague, poison from support kill. We don't do poison. Frost, next, cold. I don't think we'll do any cold damage. Poison six. No, night, shock, proliferation. Shock, proliferation. Oh, it's uh, so a rapid fire supposed to have a concentrated effect because this is uh, on. So, wildfire, fire penetration, add, sub, add fire damage, and so with this one, we will set them uh, on fire and then. I have penetration. With this one, we will do a lot of damage. So maybe wildfire. We don't need it here. Should move it to this one. Wildfire. Wildfire. So let's say we need to penetrate if. Uh, work so we go and then they spread around the fire to the one that they didn't work into so everyone is getting fire and then we have volley more projectile work go through enemies area of effect and then wildfire to really spread all pack with on fire and then we have rapid shot fire penetration more damage concentrate that effect because we don't want any aoe we want more damage what else we can put here we can put additional accuracy yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Additional accuracy. And critical chance. Yes, critical. Critical damage. Okay. And here, attack. Faster attacks. Close. Rage. Additional accuracy I use main mana leech pulverize chance to bleed no 
Life Bleach. Life Bleach, okay. And stance. Terrain range combat. Supported skill deal 35 more attack damage to enemy further than seven amount. Uh close combat. Okay, yes, this this makes sense actually. Because we will use the shotgun when we are very close, close combat. And then uh, critical damage, accuracy. Armor piercing rounds, okay. Explosive grenades. Should we go with explosive grenades slash grenades more piercing rounds? I think they will be good to have. It's a uh, hard to wrap your mind around how to use so many skills in what combination <laughs> explosive grenades <clears throat> damage empower damage Not chaos, cold, fire, we already use ink, weapon, elemental damage. Elemental damage. Okay, maybe. An elemental damage. Attack. Faster. Rage. Crossy. Analyze, pulverize, dig, leech, life leech, bloodlust, enduring stars, and endurance. The range combat, close combat far reach, supported break posture. So break posture is for sure for this one. Far more pierce. Break posture. Yes. Does last six seconds. Oh. Okay. What else? Open elemental damage. Um. The attack. What else? We can put here. Can put the uh, far reach cooling strike. We already we will have cooling strike. Ruthless, ruthless. Every fifth use of this attack was. Stun build up. Okay. Now what is melee? Okay, don't care. Extended combo. Attack melee strike no. Combo finisher. Attack strike no. 
Next of four, no. I will not be head. No, and we attack away his. No, called chaos. It will project on emulate. Okay. Supported skill cannot ignite. Ah, this is nice because you can uh, ignite them with incendiary shots and then you use some grenades on them to do even more damage. Okay, immolate weapon elemental damage. What else? We can put here multiple projectiles. I damage next bites extra cold extra lightning cast on nearly kill cast on melee stun ammo conservation oh okay 40% chance for crossbow attack not to consume a bolt. So where should we put this ammo conservation? We should put it to how many? So fire 10 bolts per burst. And this one can fire 70 bolts before reload. Maximum 11 hit. So we should put it here because one point four meter cone fire ten balls per burst. But how many bursts you can, or you need to re reload after each burst? I think you need to reload after each burst, so we have volume work. Area of effect. Maybe wildfire. We don't need this wildfire. We can put ammo, conservation, conservation, like this. And close combat. Yes. Now. Now may make more sense. And then uh, wildfire we can put also here on the grenades. What we can put. Hold. Cannot ignite. Okay, so we need to remove this. And we put wildfire. Wildfire. And we have explosive grenades with weapon elemental damage and wildfire and area is it see because we need to have as much area of effect as possible area of effect maybe we put it here what else we can put to the grenades? Uh, stun. Let's see if it's anything with stun overpower. Support. It's with support skill. Cause 80% on stun build up. Rapture. Thin. Do not cause stun build up. Spinning, but auto reload. Support reload automatic on heavy stunning on enemy. Oh, heavy stunning. How we can do heavy stunning? Did we put heavy stunning? <laughs> 
because you can do a lot of stuns with the shotgun and you just keep reloading like crazy if you stun them from the first shot Twenty percent increase stun build up. Stun threshold. Stun build up against enemies two meter. Okay, so we can actually damage is lucky against heavy stun enemies. Oh. So we can play around with stun. Your stun threshold, no. Increase stun blind effect. When they stun you, no. No. Increase stun. And block recovery, okay. With melee weapon, no. 15% here also, stun. Heavy ammunition. 60% more damage also here. 20% more stun build up. So, let's calculate. So twenty thirty five sixty five sixty five. 85 increase stun build up. One hundred fifteen. So if you take these notes, then you have more than one hundred percent. Chance to stun. Okay. So we can build maybe around stun. You stun and then you have lucky shot. Against heavy stun enemies. Heavy stun. But what is heavy stun? It's like bosses or what? And you get a auto reload if you heavy stun an enemy. Okay. Fire, hard fire, concentration, additional accuracy, critical. Okay, so if we build a round stun, then with the ammo conservation. Close combat work, auto reload. We can put here auto reload, auto reload, and we can take this close combat ammo conservation. We don't need this, we need stun, stun, very close stun, stun, stun. 
reinforce impact wave supported skill deals splash damage to surrounded targets when they stun an enemy supported skill that stun an enemy and what this is melee But it was something with reload. Uh, reload. So you have reload speed. Okay. Many volts. Double barrel. Less layer loads. An additional bolt. So auto reload when you stun a heavy enemy. Ammo conservation we don't need. We need reload. We put double barrel. Work. And maybe volley we don't need actually. So this shotgun, if we heavy stun enemies we get a free reload and an additional bolt every time we load speed we get a additional bolt but we don't hopefully we don't care about reloading because we we can heavy stun them and then we get a free reload. The same there is shot. And then we we get this we remove this uh these nodes from here with the evasion. And what else is here? projectiles but this one is good so we have these ones so we have stun build up this one heavy weaponry should be at also and this one is really close to the start points that's why they put it because they are really good they put it really close to beginning Having weaponry. So stun, stun build up here also. So 15, 15. Ah, but no, this is melee. Okay, we don't need this. Sorry. Without this. So 15 here. Freeze. Fifteen. We have here also twenty percent more. We have here another thirty percent more, and here thirty percent more. So when we get well packed, we should get this ones lucky and then you have also lucky hit against heavy stun enemies i think this is going somewhere so you heavy stun enemies you get a free reload and you get more damage because you reload less hopefully you reload automatic always Volley. I think incendiary shot will be crazy good. And then you have rapid shot for 
a bit more range and explosive grenades weapon damage wildfire area of effect and it was something with stun if i how oh, it was that skill mm. impact but this is melee wind wave no? energy barriers devastate supported skill fully break armor when inflicted a heavy stun whoa fully break armor when inflict a heavy stun i guess i maybe it's working also with instead of a uh, volley to put uh devastate devastate like this so I don't know if the shotgun actually can heavy stun a fully armor NPC. Should it be or not? So I have it like this. So incendiary shot, devastate, fully break armor when heavy stun. We have this auto reload when we have it done, and we have double barrel, more damage, additional bolt. We have fork and close combat. What else should we put? Concentrated additional accuracy, critical fire. Maybe we should remove fork and should add some some fire penetration here so fire penetration fire proliferation are more explosive ah spell it from penetration fire penetration so we can do even more damage and hopefully we can stun faster and then fire damage concentrated effect additional accuracy critical damage and maybe fork we can move it here fork and what else for the explosive grenades so we put weapon damage wildfire area of effect area of effect incendiary shot This will be like a juggling because area of effect also makes sense here. But also on the grenades. Add damage, lightning, 
additional accuracy we had at lines rotundity chain close combat called concentrated effect conduction corrosion critical we use cooling this we will have for on our three deep freeze so note notebook let me start taking some notes oh come on what is this yeah yeah maybe it's done and then uh, i said i want uh, i want chain and pairs chain pairs from the tree and uh, Grenades damage, but I put so many points in the grenades, so this need to be like a main skill because we put also a lot of points in the projectiles. But if we don't do anything with grenades, like a main skill, then we basically waste a lot of skills. Oh, this, this one. I want the grenades. Grenades. Projectile. then what we we put a uh, wall part and over leech wall part over leech What else did we put well packed? Lucky against heavy stun over leech. Cooling threshold. Ignition build up. Penetration. Elemental damage. And more damage from close range life leech knock knockbacks so this might also help knock x So damage, damage, we have this once, and then uh, defensive, we have this one, and Yes. 
So damage we put chain, pierce, grenades, projectiles, defense, wall pact, overleach, knockbacks, heavy stun. Uh, we put uh, some uh, evasion, evasion. And for damage, we will have cooling, cooling strike plus uh, 25% or this one cooling strike. What else do we have from the tree? Hmm. So this is how my note notebook was uh, looking. What I want to build around. Damage, chain, pierce, uh, grenades, damage, projectiles, cooling strike, defense, ball packed, knockbacks, heavy stun, evasion. What else should it be? Life leech. And uh, for uh, heavy stun plus uh, lucky strike. Lucky strikes from the tree. But this is more for uh, damage, lucky strikes. So damage with hits is lucky strike against heavy stun. Ah, and I said critical strike. So critical strike. Critical strike. I want to scale. So you get lucky strike and if you have quite decent critical strike then you will crit quite a lot in that window but uh, what what else can we scale up with the tree so or critical strike we we go we have attack speed no we took this one already projectile from further no melee critical strike bonus We took this one, pinpoint shot with accuracy equal to critical strike. So yeah, critical strike is actually very important to scale up. Critical strike is equal, equal. Uh, accuracy. So 
So what and for the skills maybe so incendiary shot with devastate fire penetration double barrel close combat auto reload focus on uh, heavy stunning lucky strike and critical strike so lucky strike heavy stun enemies and uh, critical damage then a rapid shot with add fire damage concentrated effect accuracy critical damage and fork now for explosive grenades so weapon damage elemental damage wildfire area of effect what else can we put with grenades to stun to increase the chance to to stun enemies heavy stun actually increase limit armor 80% more armor okay maybe knockbacks lasting shock life leech lockdown what makes sense with grenades to spread fire and stun them overpower overcharge perpetual charge Years. less projectile damage heal poison chance clear eyes second wind Four projectiles unbreakable Mid shield faster casting double barrel combo finisher clarity ammo conservation ammo conservation did we use it with uh, rapid shot no ammo conservation no no we should use it with uh, rapid shot add fire concentrated Accuracy, critical for we don't need accuracy, I think. Conservation, ammo conservation, we should use it here. Ammo conservation, critical with work. So we shot more with added damage, concentration, more damage. Critical damage, yes, and fork to spread around, and then we have explosive grenade launcher with uh, weapon damage, wildfire, area of effect. What else should we put here with the grenades? Oh, oh, eh. Oh, wind wave 
cursing current. Nothing really makes sense with grenades. Stun. Melee. Oh, energy barrier. Energy recharge. No, there was take. Ruthless auto reload thing. more stun threshold while using support skill so i cannot be stunned okay that's not important enduring stuns no uh, that's This is really hard to find supporting skills. No packs, last gasp. Lasting shock, the life drain. Life leech, life tap. Lockdown, main, mana flare. More duration, more skill effect duration. Maybe this is good with, but everything is good with uh, incendiary shell. Multiple projectiles, multiple traps, aura overload. Force skill electro prime elements with a ah. overcharge. Oh, the power eats with support skill. They are more stun. Yes, okay. This actually makes sense. So you throw some grenades, build up some uh, stun, and then. To start using incendiary shocks to stun stun block them and maybe you get a free recharge auto recharge because of the heavy stun overpower okay so explosive grenades weapon elemental damage wildfire area of effect lower power and what what could we put the last one Elemental invocation and uh, cast, cast, cast. It's annoying. Cast on, on ignite. 26% increase energy generated. Gain 20 energy when you ignite enemy from a hit. We was kill once. Your skill. Use trigger all socket spells and lose all energy on uh, reaching Mars more energy. Okay, I guess we will ignite a lot of enemies. So I think to put some curses on it if it's possible. So if I put it here, ignite. Cast of Ignite, and then I need meta skills. No. This is, ah, this is meta, okay. So, curse. Let's see, what is curse? Heightening curse. Can we use it like this? Curse with Ignite. Cast of Ignite, Persistent Trigger Meta. How this supposed to work? What should I put here? 
and I put just the courses and Fabo less damage flammability. This is really cool. Can I put it here? I don't know if it will work. How this is supposed to work? Kill men. So this is 60 spirit. Okay, so this one also takes spirit, like reservation. You have this cast of the night. 60 spirit and then what you can put here projectile projectile trigger socketed spells on uh, reaching maximum energy so you get ignites, you get uh, energy shield, and then you cast spells. This will be cool. But what spells? This is a spell, so maybe it will work, no? Uh, we'll find out. So. 60 spirits that's a lot of spirit i think maximum is 120 in total so what else we can use with spirit if i look here spirit uh, 30 spirit raging spirits blasphemy okay nothing aura Pain offering, blasphemy, malice. Thirty spirit defy, defiance banner. Attack, heals, generate valor equal to enemy's power. Banner aura, radius. Okay, what banners there are? Banner defiance only defiance banner. Okay, so it's only one banner. Persistent away duration 30 spirits attack use generate valor. But I hate these banners. I I always forget to use them. <laughs> it's one button plus to remind to use our. I think a lot of skills are still missing. Hear it. Reservation. It cannot be only this. Hmm. So, what? What? Uh, What else can we do? So I can look, maybe we can find something else here for the grenade. And there are still more skills. So it was so hard to even fix three skills, more or less. 
if you need to play with at least two more, it will be crazy here. It will be what else should I put here? Copy share link. Okay. Let's see if I can copy this. Yes, I can. In my notebook. And I can copy this one somehow. Um, no. Doesn't seem to allow me to copy it. Well, how do I save this? Maybe I just bookmark it. Done. And this one. I bookmark it. Done. Yeah, so. I think that's what I could find out and plan for myself. In the following days, I will keep watching on the internet more information. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.